If you cannot be objective when you meet a client and like, say you see a bias happening within yourself, uh, let's say um, I, I've dealt with students who said, you know what, I cannot deal with anyone unless they're a Christian. And that's fine. I think that population is absolutely fine. They may have connections within other organizations and churches. However, you have to make sure you don't get yourself in a situation, you know, where you're not. And if you do, make sure you step aside and just say, hey, you know what? I'm not a good match here and I can find you someone else. That's why you should always know other people. But there's many reasons. Some people don't feel comfortable dealing with people who are Buddhist or Muslim or they just don't understand the culture. Now, my whole thing is go for it. Do it. Learn about the culture. But that's me. That may not be someone else's comfort level. So you always have to look at that. I don't know. What what do you guys think about things like that? You know, I think, too, that, you know, that if there are certain things that make you uncomfortable doing as a doula, it should be part of a disclosure statement so that you say those things right up front before mm -hmm. you then take that client on that, you know, th these are the things that I, I can't do. Yes. Or I won't do. You can say that I can't, you know, uh, some other doulas may do this, but I do not. And I want to make sure that's really clear um, right. before, because uh, I want to make sure you are connected with the right person for you.